Hello, and welcome back to the Resiliency Ninja with Allison Graham podcast. I am Allison Graham, which would make sense because I'm the one who's doing the talking. <laughs> yes, and it is Facha Friday. Okay, what are we going to talk about today? Well, let me tell you, we are going to talk about comparison. And from that often stems that uh, little green giant uh, jealousy. And so we want to put a stop to comparison so you can focus on your own work because comparison, in my experience, chokes. Now, as we are talking about this, I first want to want you to consider who do you compare yourself to? Who are you looking at in your industry and thinking, I'm not as good as they are, or wow, they really have it together? Or why can't I be more like him or her? For me, in my decade of hell, I was really judging and comparing, my, comparing myself to others in the speaking industry. I would ask questions like, why are they getting that keynote and I didn't get chosen? How come they are getting all those clients and I'm not? And what I came to realize is that people's public perception is very different than their reality. In many cases, they were looking to me and wondering, why am I not getting that media coverage? Why is Allison getting a higher speaking fee than I'm getting? So it was really funny when we opened up and had that conversation to see the different perspectives and what really is the truth that lies in between. I remember uh, when I used to sell cars and my, my person there, my general manager, he said, perception is reality. And so you want the person who's buying from you's perception to be that this is the only car that exists. And the reality is there are lots of options, lots of cars. But anyway, I digress. So I want you to figure out how do you stop compar comparing yourself to others and just worry about your own path. Here was what I found. Number one, as soon as I start comparing myself, I realize that I'm lacking compassion for that other person. I'm assuming that everything is going great for them. And I know, and you know, that there is a shitstorm somewhere in their life. And if there isn't, <laughs> There's, it's coming because none of us is spared. We all go through our challenges, ups and downs and all arounds. And you may be on a really great streak and everything's going really well. And then another challenge could come your way or a problem. So you have no idea what people are dealing with behind the scenes. For me, it's chronic pain. And, uh, you know, there were times when I had a lot of financial challenges. There were times when I was really depressed and not feeling good about myself when I was grieving and all of that, nobody saw except my closest people. And so you have to assume that other people are going through challenges and what they're presenting publicly is not everything. Okay. The second thing I want you to do is to recognize the jealousy and figure out why. One of the things for me was recognizing that when I saw somebody else succeeding, instead of celebrating their success, which is what I do now, I would look at that and I would think, well, why am I not succeeding? And the truth was at the time, I didn't have the physical capability to do what they were doing. <laughs> so that sucked. And I wasn't doing the work. At the end of the day, I was not doing the sales. I was not doing the activity, the consistency with my content development and writing for the media. Oh, I was not doing my outreach. I was not keeping up with my network. And quite frankly, why would I expect to get the results that somebody who was doing all of those things that I you know, coach people to do now consistently was getting? So really figure out what's the underlying emotion that is driving the jealousy and figure out what is it that that person is doing that sparks something in you to say, oh, I wish I could do that. And then the third thing I want you to do is to go and do that thing. <laughs> because whatever it is that somebody's mirroring back to you, shining the light on and saying, wow, I wish I could have that. That's what, you know, I think people show us 
a, a way that they're doing something really well so we can figure out what's our own version. And you never want to do what somebody else is doing verbatim, but if there's the essence of it, if they're succeeding because they are taking leaps, they're taking risks, they're getting media coverage, they're consistently posting, they're getting likes, all of those different things, they are all accessible to you too, if you do the work. And so I'm going to encourage you to go and do that. So there you go. The three things to stop comparison because comparing yourself to others will choke your progress. So first thing you want to do is know that their private reality is different than their public reality and not from a judgment, from a place of compassion and empathy and knowing that they may be having success, but they've probably gone through challenges to get there. Another a great example of that is I, I know that there are some people who will say, oh, I had a six-figure launch. I made $125,000 in my first online program. And then I come to realize that often they spent a hundred grand in trying to get it to 125000 or you know, $60,000 in the first two days of our launch. Well, yeah, and you spent 40, or sometimes it legitimately is a full 65,000. But they've also, what you don't hear is the, you know, 10 years of trying to figure out how to get it going, or the year or two years of struggle to get to that point. To assume that that struggle is happen, has happened or is happening, and have compassion instead of judgment. Second thing I want you to do is recognize what is it in that other person's actions that is tweaking something in you that you wish you could have. And the third thing I want you to do is go take appropriate action to get your version of that. My experience is that doing the right action, the activity is what will stop you worrying about what other people are doing and run your own path. So there you go. Stop comparison because it chokes. Thank you for being here. If you love this, please share it with someone who you think needs to hear this message. I would love it if you'd give us a review on whatever platform you're watching on and uh, actually write a review. Let me know what are you getting out of this? How are you going to put this into your efforts? You can always reach me at r-ninja.com. Don't forget to subscribe because every Tuesday, of course, I have an interview where we're peeling back the private story behind the public image. So excited to share that with you next week. And until next time, fa-chow.